So today we head up north to Northern California to visit Half Moon Bay. Now we've been trying to visit this airport for a long time, but the last time we tried, I wasn't IFR rated, and as you guys can see, it is right on the coast, so it was completely socked in. We actually got very lucky this day. As only two or three hours earlier, the METAR said it was completely socked in. But now that I'm instrument rated, if I had to, I would have done an instrument approach. But even better, the clouds cleared up and we were able to get this amazing view on the approach. Now that dome on the left is called Pillar Point Air Force Station. It's used in tandem with Vandenberg, which is about 300 miles south to monitor ballistic launches like SpaceX rockets. And for all you hikers out there, on the left side, those hills are actually hiking trails that take you to Pillar Point Bluff. Besides being mindful of that marine layer, you also have to worry about winds as it can get pretty gusty along the coast. But don't forget you're sharing the airspace with the original aviators, those birds. Luckily, he saw that we were much bigger and faster. Now this runway is 5,000 feet long by 150 feet wide, so it gives you more than enough room, especially at sea level, to take off and land. Something confusing about this airport is that as we exit here on Bravo, taxiways are not actually labeled on every airport diagram that we could find, except for one. The County of San Mateo has a PDF online that has all the taxiways labeled. We'll link that in the description below. Now, if you're coming from the south and you're on flight following, Keep in mind that ATC will tell you that they might lose you, so they might cut you off a little quicker than you might anticipate. So if you want to stay with them, just stay a little higher until you get closer to the airport and you should be okay. going to do a circle here only because we were completely confused on exactly where to park and it was because on the north side of this apron is for larger aircrafts which is actually noted on the ground and so we made a 180 to go back to the regular parking which is actually right in front of us right now. Here's that large aircraft only parking that I was just talking about. And at this point we realized we have to go back to the other parking. So that's what we did. Right in front of us is the terminal building, which closes at two every day. 
there's porta potties outside. Inside, when it's open, is a restaurant, which unfortunately, since we arrived closer to four o'clock this day, we did not have a chance to visit. Parking fees are paid online, and if it's anything like Santa Monica that uses the same vector airport systems, you'll get a bill in the mail and you just go online and pay it. Now there's about 12 transient spots and they all have tied down chains. All right, so checklist time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It really helps us. If you want to know where we're going to next and don't want to miss that next Where's Transient, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport, please leave a comment. Or just if you have any general feedback, we'd love to hear from you guys and appreciate the ones who already have. Now you saw how amazing it looked on the way in. Even better on the way out.